Hi guys, gonna make another pot pot boot. Gonna use one of these. Might as well use the shiny one so we don't have to burn the paint off it. So, it's gonna be a single pipe. Gonna drill a hole in there, big enough for my aluminium pipe. And then just glue it in place. Might bend it so it Yeah, so it goes that way round. Doesn't really matter which way round it goes, but we could do it that way. So the tea light sits under here and heats this up. Right, I haven't actually glued it in place yet. I'll get some two part epoxy and glue it on there. I pushed it through one of my old boat hulls. I'll cut it off back here somewhere. The big problem with this design is actually getting water into the boiler. Because you can't just pour it in there because there's nowhere for it to go. It, it's a sealed unit. There's only one pipe. So what I've done in the past is I've actually put a tube inside a thinner tube that goes all the way in and squirts water in there so that it can actually escape round the outside of the thinner tube that's in there. So I'll have to go and have a look, see what thin tube I can find. Probably something like the insulation off of a piece of wire. It just needs to be able to push it all the way in there so that the water can come in and the air can escape at the same time. Once there's water in there, it's fine. That heats up, turns to steam, pushes water out along the pipe, the steam condenses, creating the partial vacuum. So the pressure outside pushes the water back in. When the water goes back in again, it hits the hot metal, turns to steam again, expands and continues. And so the problem is getting the water in there. I went and stripped off some power cable. So this is the insulation of the piece of power cable. And I've threaded it all the way through. So we can now either push water in there, or I could even suck the water out of there and let it rise up that way. Could do it either way. We'll see which way I want to do it. First thing we need to do though is seal this. Only need a tiny bit. Right, well we'll leave that to dry. We're in the bathroom. The first test here is whether we can actually get water through this tube 
all the way down into there and then push the air out. So the way we all know is whether we get any water up here just here. This may take a few attempts to get this to work. Actually, if I'd have done it underwater, we'd have been able to see if the bubbles were coming out. Right, I think we filled it with water there. get this out. Okay. Tea light under there, heat it up, see what happens. Oh, because the focus is going to go, isn't it? Yeah. It is going to take a while to warm up though. Definitely pulsing. I do like this design. from the other side. What I like about this design is it confuses people who think there has to be two pipes and in and out. It doesn't work like that. Whoa, coming up a bit of speed there. No idea how long this will keep going for. In theory, until the candle runs out. Because the water inside the boiler is on a closed circuit, effectively. And every bit that gets pushed out gets sucked back in again. 
So it's the length of the candle that's the deciding factor. I think that'll do. I'm going to blow it out. It should slow down fairly quickly because every pulse is sucking cold water back in. So that should be cooling the boiler down quite quickly. So there we go. Job done. Another pop pop motor that doesn't pop. But let's see you explain how this one works. One pipe, one boiler, one candle. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.